Cricket for sale, cricket for sale. Anybody that comes up with the shortest format wins. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. You don't need to worry about test cricket. Don't worry about ODI cricket. You don't need to worry about developing grassroots cricket. You don't need to worry about developing players that are technically sound that will allow West Indies to improve. Just come up with something that you think others around the world will gravitate towards and you will be able to sell. Don't need to worry about developing players. Yes, man. What's up? What's up, Sports to the Bone family? What's up? All right, so I am here to talk to you guys about this new format of cricket that CWI and CPL, they are pushing it. I don't know much about it myself, you know. Um, I actually saw the, the information, I think it was yesterday, and decided that I'm going to talk to you guys about it. Now, according to what I am seeing here, they call it 60, right? Cricket's power game. And CPL and CWI, they are the ones that announce it. And it's a new format. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, totally brand new format of cricket. And you will get a chance to see the players in action uh, this August, as soon as this August, right? Um, so apparently there are going to be 60 balls are, you know, in, 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 in each, well, for each side, 60 ball. And according to them, it's a faster pace and action pack game. So they are looking for faster pace and action pack. And as I said, CWI, they are on board with this. And more than likely, they think this is a new venture that will, you know, a lot of people gravitate towards it. You know, they have the T10s and things like that, but they decided to go 60. And, um, you know, anything where poetry is concerned, once the Caribbean people run with it, then the rest of the world tend to follow. So I don't know if that's why CWS and the bandwagon and don't decide to do anything to develop actual cricket. Anyway, I, I am on the website here, so I'm going to be reading it for you guys because I, you know, as I said, the rules that they have are new and, and everything. So they say um, there is a new format of cricket, as I said, and it's called the 60. And according to them, it's a cricket, uh, it's a power game. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, they say fans can look forward to the following exciting rules. So these are some rules, according to them, that will allow the game to be exciting. Each batting team has six wickets. At the fall of the six wicket, they are all out. Next rule, each batting team has two power plays. They can unlock a third power play by hitting two sixes in the first 12 balls. Now, the extra power play um, over can be taken at or any time between um, overs three to nine. So it's two power play, which is a given. And if you hit two sixes within the first 12 deliveries, then you will get an additional power play where you know the, the field, field is going to have to be in. So that will definitely give the batsman opportunity to... Um, to, 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 to go at, at the bowling. Let us see if there's any perks for, um, any perks for the bowlers. Um, the, the, the next rule they say, that I see they have here, number three, right? Um, hold on. The next rule they say, there will be 30 balls bowled from one end before the action switches to the other end for the next 30 deliveries. So apparently they are going to be running in the bowlers will bowl from one end when those 30 deliveries finish, then they will do it from, from, from the next end, all right? All right, they say each batting team, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. They say the 30 balls will, will be delivered as five separate overs with no bowler being able to bowl more than two overs for the innings. Now, if the teams do not bowl their overs within the allotted time, a member of their team is removed from the field for the six, um, for, for, for six balls, for the final six balls. So one member of the team will be removed for the final six ball, which will more than likely once again give the ball, the batsman an opportunity to go at them. Um, they say fans will vote for the timing of a mystery free hit where a batter can be dismissed by the bowler. Well, where a batter cannot be dismissed by the bowler. So that is a perk for the for the for the batsman right um the fans will be able to vote for a mystery free hit and the batsman will not be able to be dismissed by the bowler so is there going to be a mystery 
free wicket where the bowler they, they can just vote and and and, and the bowler can can bowl a ball and the batsman the batsman must just stand up in front of the wicket and don't play it. What is there for the bowlers? You know, we cannot be developing the cricket according to them. They are developing and spreading the cricket. We cannot, we cannot be developing the cricket and we're doing all of these things and it's still one-sided. I, I don't know any of my viewers and subscribers. I don't know at all. You understand? Um, they said the first edition will take place um, from August 24 to 28 in St. Kitts and Nevis at one, um, at one of the world's fastest scoring grounds, the Warner Park. And we know they score a lot of runs there usually, right? No, they say the 60 is a joint venture between Cricket West Indies and Caribbean Premier League, which is CPL. And um, they are closely working together to create this um, next, you know, world-class tournament according to them. All right. Let, let, let me put away the, this thing here now, my viewers and subscribers. So, so this is what I'm going to say. I'm not going to knock it because it is cricket and if it is on, I'm not going to say that I won't look at it. I, I will look, I will watch it once it is on and I have the chance. But I sort of find it strange that CWI, you know, they, they are tight in, they are tight into this with CPL because more than likely they think this is a, you know, this is a product that they will be able to market and they will be able to um, get some, some revenues from. I have no issue with that because we are the same ones that continuously complain that there is no money in CWI you know, to really compensate the players the right way. So if they have a product and they decide to, 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 to market that product, I can't do not them. But my thing is this. The, the, the world of cricket is, is evolving, yes, and I can understand that. That is why when I see some traditional um, cricket-loving people, you know, that love their test cricket and don't want to see any other cricket, I am saying it's not going to stay on one level. It's always going to improve, right? And they're going to build up on it. So the T20 came around, T10 came around, and, you know, so they, they, they're saying the 60, according to what they are saying. That, that is what I think it is called. This is here now, and if they can market it and bring in revenues, I, I am not really knocking it, but my problem is I don't really see any effort. Well, I can't say I don't see any effort because they're going to say they launched something the other day, some sort of um, high performance center that will help to correct and develop players, and they are going to be spending on grassroots um, programs. But I want to see people, I want to see them, you know, really investing and making an effort to develop quality players, right? Because we were once the master of T20 cricket and we see that it has basically gone past us now. It has gone past us, no disrespect, but you know, T20 cricket has gone past us. That is, that is why we are ranked so lowly. So, um, so I don't know our so low. I don't know if it's as a result of that why they are coming up with this thing and say they are going to master it and, and, and bring it to the world. But one thing I can say, they need to be careful, right? Because we see T20 de um, developing, yes, we have our T20. We, we, I guess this is the 100 doing their thing and then the T10 and I guess this is our 60. But we can go toe to toe with um, some of the some other, other cricket, cricketing nations, right? Because they can afford to really field teams in different formats, easy, easy. As I would have indicated here before, the Australia, the, the, the England, the, the, the India, Pakistan, maybe to a lesser extent, they can find, they can, they can um, probably afford to field teams in in Test ODI T20 and T10 at the same time. You understand? What I think we need to do is to actually develop and focus on the format that is going nowhere. And we realize that ODI cricket and probably test cricket, those aren't, aren't going anywhere. As much as they are not as popular as they were before, they are not going anywhere. So we need to be careful as it relates to where we are heading. You know, we can't be pushing our head like, like just pushing our head out and just running, running, running like that. You understand? Because we're trying to keep up with the pack. We have to remember that um, the part that we're chasing, the part that we're chasing, you know, they are, they have, they have um, different things, you know, they have the population, they have uh, the revenues and all of that. So we need to be careful.
that is all I'm going to say. I'm not going to bash it as yet. I'm going to look at how it is work, um, how it's going to work because, as I said, it's a, it's, it can be developed into a product that will bring revenue into CWI. But at the same time, we need to be careful in what we are doing. We don't want to continuously drive our youngsters away from Test Cricket, ODI Cricket, and probably T20 Cricket these days, I have to be saying that. So, as I say, we have to give it um, a chance, see how it works, but I'm skeptical about it. That's all I'm going to say. All right, my peeps? Comment section is open. Let me know what you think about this one. All right, my peeps? Bless. I'm out.